what's up everyone? Um, I'm finally back and I apologize for my absence. Um, mainly been gone all this time because the last time I was recording, um, I dropped the camera I was using to record um, on the ground in the middle of recording and it smashed and I couldn't get it replaced. Um, and it took me um, this long to get around to buying a new camera. Um, to make vids again. So, um, yeah, I do apologize for that, but um, I am back now and we're going to try and get through uh, the rest of the vinyl and then cassettes and CDs and whatever else. Um, yeah, man, um, so I'm pretty much going to start off right where I left off. Um, the last thing we did was uh, Black Metal Part 3, Vinyl Collection Part 3. Today we're going to be doing um, Depressive Black Metal. Uh, this is Part 2 for the Depressive Black Metal stuff. Um, i got a few records here. We'll see how many we can get through. First on the list is um, Trist. Um, with the album that I can't fucking pronounce. Um... There you guys go. Um, it's probably Czech. Um, they're from the Czech Republic. One man um, project. Take it out here so there's not so much glare. There you go. Uh, there's the back. Got number 449 out of uh, 500. Kind of looks like a, like a G. Um, anyways. Uh, just two tracks, two extremely long tracks, um, probably not exact sure to of the times, but it's roughly like 15 to 20 minutes each. <clears throat> really, really, really good depressive black metal. Um, yeah, man, at its finest, truth. So if you haven't heard it, check it out. I'll leave descriptions in the below for you guys like usual uh, there's record black vinyl black labels with the band logo just the logo good shit so check that out and again um, another Triss <coughs> album that I cannot fucking pronounce <laughs> So there you guys go, there's the album title, there we go, and there's the back, uh, it's, this is again, it's only three tracks, very long, long tracks, uh, original insert there, uh, Insert sheet, and then um, this comes on uh, on black vinyl here with uh, again with the black labels and the Trist logo. So Trist, one man DSBM. Um, next up is uh, Nocturnal Depression. Um, they're from France. I think it's a, a four-piece or a three-piece. I'm not. I'm not too sure. One of the two. Um, this is um, Four Seasons to a Depression. Probably one of my favorite Nocturnal Depression albums. And it's got um, there's the cover without the glare. And it's got four tracks. <clears throat> Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Um, it's on Sun and Moon Records. And it comes on a gatefold. Very nice gatefold with lyrics. And I don't... Oh, that's um, just credits. And what's in the inside here? Original black uh, paper sleeve and uh, vinyl is black with um, black labels 
fucking amazing, amazing album. Like I said, it's one of one of my uh, favorite Nocturnal Depression albums. They're probably like at least 10, 10 deep in, um, in the discography for sure. Not sure which one um, this is. Again, we got uh, Nocturnal Depression, uh, Reflections of a Sad Soul. Kind of glare there, so I'll take it out for you guys. Also, I got lots of questions since I've been gone about the uh, sleeves I use. So, um, I'll be uh, making a video ASAP on that. Uh, probably right after after this, um, I'll do a video, I promise, on the sleeves and um, how I protect my records and, and that kind of thing. Also, everyone wants to see the cassettes. Like, there's lots of cassettes and shit, so, um, I'll get through the metal vinyl, and, um, because I got lots of other random shit, like, uh, classic rock, and, um, rap, even, and some other shit, so I'll skip that, and I'll jump to the metal tapes before I do any of, any of that other non-metal stuff on vinyl, I'll do that way later, um, down the road. So, anyways, back to Nocturnal Depression, um, there's the front without the glare, there's the back, and, um, it comes on a double LP, this is the middle, oh, uh, yeah, so it is a four piece, there you go, <clears throat> put that down, and it's, uh, like I said, double, double LP, black vinyl, um, this was a really, really good album as well. I prefer their, uh, older shit, um, over, over that one, but, yeah, man, um, it's good shit. Um, the next one is something I really adore, and it's definitely a gem, uh, in my collection, um, for sure. Hold on here. And it is uh, Gris. Um, these guys are um, from Quebec, um, Canada. Where um, I'm from Canada, <clears throat> not from Quebec. I'm from Alberta. But um, I remember there was a while there that I really, really got into uh, Canadian black metal and just tried to collect as much Canadian black metal as I could. And that's around that was quite a few years back. And that's around the time when I found Gris. And yeah, fucking amazing. What probably one of my favorite albums of all time. Not my favorite, but in like a top 20 list or something. This this is fucking genius, you guys. Um, if you like depressive black metal, if you like um, even if you like uh, like atmospheric black metal, you're really really gonna dig this. It's it's fucking amazing. Um, there's the back, and uh, it's limited to uh, 333 copies. I got uh, number 168. Well, we can't see that, but there you go. And gatefold with the Gris giant Gris logo. Really nice. <clears throat> it came with a bunch of goodies, actually. And there was a couple different versions um, that came with more goodies. There's the one of the inner sleeves. And the other one is very similar, I believe. Oh, well, it has um, the logo and credits and stuff on the back. That down um, came with the little camera. There we go. Little um, Gris sticker, really nice, and then a giant, giant booklet, um, just with pictures and um, like paintings. <clears throat> yeah, really nice. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a gem of mine. 
in my vinyl record collection. I've never really seen it for sale anywhere. I haven't really looked, but uh, yeah, man, and it comes on this really nice gold um, double LP on gold, I guess. That's just what you call it. Gold with like like sparkles and shit. Uh, show it to you guys here. There you go. Back. And we got some like marble effect in there as well. Really nice. And the other one is uh, is one of those etched etched ones. Um, like that it was on um, Northern Silence. And then on the other side here is the etching. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Yeah, man. Chris. Um, and again, shit. I'm always forgetting the album titles. Um, it's, it's French, and it, shit. Probably not going to be able to... Uh, yeah. Probably not going to be able to pronounce that correctly anyway. So I'm um, just uh, leave it in the link for you guys, like usual. There you go. Chris, fucking awesome shit. <clears throat> and get all this stuff down safely. Don't fuck shit up. All right. Um, next up is um, Abystic Hate. Hold on. There we go. Only like, will we'll we do it right? Okay. Uh, Abyssic Hate, um, A Decade of Hate. Uh, these guys are from uh, Australia. <clears throat> uh, this is a... Uh, it's like a compilation. It's got uh, 94 demo on it. Um, Eternal uh, Damnation. And... Um, the 1998 promo of the trade. Um, I'm sure, you guys heard of uh, their el other album, Suicidal Emotions. If you're into DSBM, it's pretty much a classic in DSBM. Fucking amazing, amazing album. Um, this is early works. Uh, this was fucking really good. It, it, it um, had uh, more of a more of a straight up black metal feel. Uh, there's a big story in, in there of uh, the band, pretty much. And there's the back for you guys. And it's a double LP on, uh, on black vinyl. Vesticate. <clears throat> oh my god. Shit's piling up down here. Okay, um... What are we at? We at 13. Let's do a couple more. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. Uh, Cold World. Um, some some German um, DSBN, I believe. Uh, one one guy. Um, I think he was like uh, 16 or, or so when he did his first film, and this is the second, I believe. Um, uh, Melancholy, uh, 2, a little 2 there, uh, yeah, nice cover, it's just really gloomy and, and snowy, and it's got the, there we go, it's got a little horse here, <clears throat> here's the back, Cold World, um, another, like, one of those albums that's in my top, top, top um, albums for DSBM, um, for sure. This is a fucking great album. Black Final. Cold World. Going on here. Okay, um, 
Next, um, another um, German BSBM band, Anti. Um, their album, um, um, The Insignificance of Life. Um, this was actually, uh, it took me a while to find it. And then I finally stumbled across it um, on Discogs, I think. There's the cover. This is another just top-notch fucking BSBM album. Uh, two two man there, and uh, limited to 530 copies. Number 301 this is the copy I got here. And there's the inner sleeve. On the other side, and it just comes on uh, black vinyl with a really nice label to it. Actually. There we go. Yeah. Good shit. Uh, I'll leave it uh, below for you guys to check out. Uh, let's do another one. Uh, some Swedish um, black metal. These guys are more black metal. Um, I don't even know why the fuck I have it in my DSDM here. It should be in a in your normal black metal. But there's uh, like one or two tracks on here that I find uh, really depressing. So that's that's why I filed it under there. But no, it's not. It's just black metal. Uh, blood strip. Strit. Blood strip, I think it's pronounced. Really cool cover. Um, it's glossy. Um, there's the back. Um, limited to 500. I got number 282. And. There. and what I love about it most is the gatefold. Just love that picture. It's fucking sick. Um, and the inside. There we go. Red. Um, and it leaves there. The lyrics. And uh, black vinyl with the red label. It's weird. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, let's do a couple more. Um, apathy. <clears throat> um, I believe these guys are from. Shit, I'm not gonna say because I'm not sure. Um, I think they're German. I'm not sure. Um, there's a title. Can't fucking pronounce it, so there you go. And it, um, this project reminds me so much of a Life Lover. It's crazy. The whole fucking album, right through. Um, just got this Life Lover uh, sound and feel to it. Um, but I fucking like it. If you like Life Lover, you're gonna fucking really enjoy this. Unless you're one of those people that don't like a band because they sound like another band, then um, probably stay away from this. But if you like Life Lover, you're gonna like this. Uh, Apathy. <clears throat> yeah. Double LP. Um, there you go. Black Vile. And it actually came with some pretty nice uh, um, sleeves. The original sleeves there. Damn logo. 
Uh, I think this is pronounced intern, internatus. Let me take it out so it's not so fucking glary. And uh, these guys are uh, German. German DSPM. There's the cover for you guys. Really nice logo. This fucking camera's pissing me off. I don't know why there's so much. There. Oh, it's too dark. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> in Internatus, I think it's pronounced. Four Man Project. The back for you guys. Uh, they got number 32 out of 350. And a uh, little lyric sheet. Oh, well that's just black, but the other side's got print on it. Slip that back in there. I, I really love the, the album art for this. Just glorious and on black vinyl. Alright, let's see if we can just get through the rest of these. It's going to be... A little bit long of a video, but whatever. Um, uh, more German DSBM. Um, Wiimut. Um, I haven't seen this for sale in, in a long time. It, was, it just went on sale and sold out pretty much instantly. Uh, four tracks. There's the cover. <clears throat> And, uh, shit, I can't remember what it was limited to. I believe, like, 100 or 200. I used to know, but I can't remember. Came with this little, uh, booklet. It's a one-man project, I believe. I haven't listened to this in a long time, but, um... It is really good, and uh, when I go to leave you guys the, the link for this, I'm going to uh, give it a listen again uh, myself, or I'll just uh, pop it on the turntable if I have time. Um, there you go. Black vinyl with the band logo for the label. <clears throat> really good shit. Um, up next is... Uh, more German, uh, DSBM. I should have just called this, uh, German DSBM video. Maybe I should have just did the German stuff and saved the rest for a different video, but whatever. We grid. Um. <laughs> Hoffnenstad. Hoffnenstad. I don't know, I probably fucked that up. There it is for you guys. It's another one of those fucking albums that's just... A classic in DSBM. Um, their other album, I think uh, their second album, you can also get on vinyl as well. Still haven't picked it up yet, but I'll get around to it. There's the back. Um, paper sleeve. Okay, here's the little sheet. Oh, um, white on the other side. Um, and Camera. Miss my old camera. There's the uh, black vinyl, black label, band logo, track listings. <laughs> we grid. Uh, two left, you guys. Let's do it. Let's get it fucking done. Wilt from Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Canada. Um, BSBM. Good shit. Canadian. Fuck yeah. Uh, okay, on this really glossy uh, cover. Love the logo. The Wilkes logo. Very nice. Four tracks. Uh, nothing in the inside but the original white paper sleeve. And it came on um, white. Really nice white vinyl. I uh, haven't spun this in a while either, so I um, can't really say too much about it, but it's 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 really good. Um, if you like your DSBM, I, I suggest you check this out. Will, from Canada. 
Winnipeg. Alright, uh, last one. Fucking Linrix. Um, from the UK. <clears throat> uh, I don't remember if it's a two man or a one man. Uh, there's the cover. Um, Nihilistic uh, Purity is uh, the album title. I probably missed some of the other fucking album titles, but I don't know why I do that, guys. Just slap me. Let's get it over with. <laughs> okay, this is bad. Um, quite a few tracks on here. I haven't listened to this in a while either, so I can't really suggest uh, a track. They got a rehearsal for the last track here, but um, I'll leave um, a link in below, and you guys can check it out. It's fucking good shit. Um, the lyrical sheet and credits, whatnot, and black vinyl, black labels, Linrick's fucking logo, and there you guys go. Bam! Some more vinyl. Play motherfuckers and uh, fuck. And I'm back, man. So um, I'll try and this time actually uh, keep up with this shit. Um, like I said, apologize. Um, this camera's a fucking piece of shit. I don't know why it fucking goes in and out like that. It's fucking weird. Um, the last camera I had did something like that too. But anyways. Uh, hopefully this works, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, stay fucking metal.